New York State is still fighting for the right to set up quarantine camps. Today, the battle entered the next phase when the court heard oral arguments in the case. NTD's Arian Pastar spoke with the lead attorney and a state senator involved in the case. Quarantine camps in the state of New York. Governor Kathy Hochul and Attorney General Letitia James want to implement Rule 2.13. It would give the state's Department of Health the power to forcibly isolate individuals suspected of carrying a transmittable disease. This is truly about being able to control citizens for any reason. New York State Senator George Borello and lead attorney Bobby Ann Cox sued the state over the rule and won the case last year. However, the state appealed and on Wednesday, attorneys made their case before an appeals court. The rule says the Commissioner of Health can pick any place that the Commissioner of Health wants to put you, you have no say. As you can see in this clip, hundreds of people showed up at the court protesting the idea of quarantine camps set up to stop the spread of communicable diseases. Senator, the COVID pandemic is over. Why does the state of New York still want to have the right to set up these camps? Well, first and foremost, we have to remember, even though the uh, governor and the attorney general tried to make this about COVID, the senator says the state's rule would apply to a long list of diseases, not just COVID. Uh, it goes everything from toxic shock syndrome to food poisoning. And while food poisoning might be a serious uh, condition, it is not communicable. The senator says New York's executive branch is overreaching by trying to implement this rule. According to him, the state's proposed rule is basically a copy of a previous proposal which didn't get any support from state lawmakers and thus didn't become law. But what they have essentially said is if the legislature isn't going to make this law, we will. So it's a very clear violation of the separation of powers. The lead attorney in the case points out a few things in the state's rule which she says are against the law. According to the rule, you would not get an attorney until after you're locked up or after you're locked down but you also wouldn't get notice, which means that the Department of Health could show up at your door or they could send the police with an order that you need to isolate or quarantine. And it could be not just for you, it could be for your child. Meanwhile, the state argues that its proposed rule only clarifies existing law. Supporters of the rule say quarantine measures are being used in states around the US and have been used for centuries. Ariane Pastar, NTD News.